never coming over. <laughs> Tell, tell him you won't call him back so I can't do this video real quick. <laughs> Mike, I'm gonna call you back, girl. Okay. Like, I don't care anyway. That's why I don't call people. Like, what did you say? <laughs> I'm bringing my info. And I'm moving. <laughs> Alright, what's up, boss stars? It's Curry Star Dino. And we are back with another unboxing, right? But this box is on special to me. I mean, it's special to me because I feel like I never get shoes that I like. You know what I'm saying? I said, I figured how I open the box. I opened it in the car, but I didn't actually open the box. Because let me tell y'all a funny story real quick, right? So Gucci, they decide not to give tracking numbers now. So you'll never know when your shoes are coming. Unless you go on their website and you do this magic tracking thing that they got going. In addition to that, Gucci also don't ship on Saturdays. They don't want their products to be shipped after Monday through Friday. What sense does that make? But... At least the box got Gucci in it, you know what I'm saying? That's tough. Where are you going, Taylor? <laughs> oh, look, they gave me a Gucci bag. That's nice. I can put somebody else stuff in here, because what the fuck I need it for? Let me know I'm dead ass, but what do I need it for? They already gave me the shoes. Alright, so. We always read the envelopes first. Let's see what they say. Right of the seat. Yep, it's exactly that. So they were 820, but they came to 86920 after taxes. That's why I wish that they was on another website because I would just order a website that one had a discount code, two possibly had free but they had free shipping. But a lot of websites, for instance, like if you watch my last unboxing, um the shoes they were 840 every site except for this site they include your taxes in a price so you skip out on paying taxes but they just lower their price and then you pay taxes etc etc but i mean that's all good we needed them in an emergency even though i had to drive to get them but we're two minutes in and i know y'all be complaining when we be two minutes in and y'all ain't seen the shoes yet so i guess these are called the apollo and i guess it's saying ivory and they're gucci 7 which is like a us 8 so we're going to see how these boys fit. I hope they give me the right ones. Because then it will be just my luck. But got to wear them tomorrow. It'll be just my luck. Okay. Okay. I like these. <laughs> these are the granddad 793s. <laughs> but you want to know what's really funny about them though? I do like the fact that like. The leather really printed on, but my only question for them is, like, why y'all ain't making like 3D? Like that would have been way tougher. Like if it was like a 3D thing where I could feel the Gucci on it. I mean, I know y'all a little far. Let me turn the brightness down so. <laughs> so y'all can't really tell, but they like a tan. But I thought they was gonna be like the dirty ones, but I guess only the dirty ones, the dirty ones. They nice. I like. They cool. Um. To be honest with you, these, this is me settling for these since I can't get the Balenciagas, you know what I'm saying? I like the sole. Y'all can't really see it. I'm going to do some product shots. I always have to do product shots and I never do. But, see they got like stars on them everywhere. They say Gucci and then they got some stars on it. That's tough. Um, and like always, I'm going to uh, put it on on camera so y'all can see how they go on my foot. These is tough to get in. <laughs> Shit, fuck, I'm gonna rip the couch. <sighs> Alright. Oh, I ain't gonna lie, they feel good on your feet though. These are the only comfortable Gucci shoes you might ever own. Let me see. <clears throat> they look big as shit though, I can't say that. They look like they're 10. It could be these pants I got on though. That's because I'm looking down. They cool though. They kind of look like, you know, they really do look like old people's shoes though. Like, I feel like the Balenciaga don't. I feel like these do. And it's sad because they really about the same price, but Gucci play fair and let you get their stuff. Balenciaga, 
want to sell it and stuff to like 20,000 different retailers, but then only make 20 shoes. I don't understand. Because 9 out of 10 of these Balenciagas you see. But that's another story for another time. If y'all want that video, comment below and we'll talk about unauthorized shoes. But in the meantime, all right, so now y'all not be taking soles out. So the sole is pretty thin, ain't too thick, still look nice and comfortable, you feel me? But what I like is that, y'all can't really see it, but. Yeah, oh, that's lit. How many videos you got up? One. That's not bad. What's your video, what's, your, what's the title on your video called? Our intro. So what's your next video gonna be? You know, you gotta figure it out. And you gotta do videos that got titles that make people wanna watch them like, I don't know. Like, how to start a YouTube channel at age, how old are you again? Eight, nine. Like, how to start a YouTube at nine years old. Like, people would love, like, how many, how many, it's so many nine year olds gonna type in and watch that. And then I like this sole, cause like even underneath the sole they got the G's. Now this is this is when you pay eight hundred dollars for a shoe, this is what you should get. You feel me? This is what you should get. Like that little detail. Like nobody probably will ever see that. Like they never know that it got like Gucci underneath there. Underneath the yeah, you know what I'm saying? But like that's the detail you get when you you know when you work with a design house that's been around for years. That's why I be skeptical to spend money with these brands like. Vet Mars and they give you a fucking $800 Reebok shoe that ain't even worth $800, you feel me? And that's the difference. Like, what, this is probably like a premium leather, a premium rubber. The, the, whatever whatever technique they use to print this on here, it, it ain't no regular printing, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how they did it, but it definitely ain't regular. You know what I'm saying? And, like, the construction is definitely well made, you know, on a, on a, on a Vet Mars or the Vermont, whatever you call them, they had glue coming off of them. Like, they even got stitching right there at the very tip of the toe. Like, so you getting a premium shoe. You know, we complain about the prices, but definitely, you, you know, sometimes you actually get what you pay for. And then sometimes they put a name on something and then try to make you pay for something that ain't even really worth it. So in this case, I feel like the Gucci's are definitely worth it. I would definitely have to say that they don't approve. They stylish. It seems like you can get a lot of wear out of them. I know. I'm a wear out of them because... For my eight hundred dollars, you gonna think these are the only shoes I got, especially because I'm definitely not buying no more shoes until probably like May or June, and that's a fact because I can't because I can't see myself spending eight hundred dollars on stuff that I could be buying inventory with. You get what I'm saying? That's just kind of the way my mind working a little bit now. But um, if you're going somewhere, if you need some shoes, I would definitely advise you guys to invest in these. Um, I'm not going to say definitely advise you. I'm just saying if you have a couple choices and this is one of your options, I would say this is definitely a quality shoe to pick from. And they look comfortable. So I don't think it'll hurt to do a comfortable shoe. I mean, they like the sole fat as fuck, so it got to be some type of cushion in there. It ain't like super cushiony, though, because I guess they really want the, the platform to last. But the only my only complaint is I can see them wrinkling up a lot, like a pair of Air Forces, because the level's so soft on them. I can see them getting wrinkles like a pair of Air Forces. Like, I can see how they already creasing right here. You get what I'm saying? But, um, other than that, y'all, um, I would have to say I like the shoe. I like the shoe. I like how they got like that embossed in the back. Y'all can't see shit. Let's see. But, all right, Boss Dons, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. That was another one for the books. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh yeah, if you like my content, be sure to pledge anything that you can to my Patreon. Like, subscribe, comment, y'all know what to do. Stay untouchable. Godspeed.